I'd like to bring in for our final uh, trade of the day, Mr. George Tillis coming to us live from Salt Lake City, Utah. George, let, let's cover another defense contractor, Northrop Grumman. Now, George, they make a lot of big, scary things, this company. They've got four segments, and they all are some type of segment that would come into focus right now, uh, George. Give us your look at Northrop Grumman. Well, I think you're right. I mean, if you look at this company, I mean, it's one of the larger players in the aerospace and defense uh, contracting space, along with the L3 Harris. And we talked about Lockheed Martin yesterday, but yep. Northrop makes uh, is very interesting. It's one of the uh, advanced names, if you will. Their communications and network systems, if you will, their tactical air fighters, and of course, logistics and support systems, communications. The other thing is they've actually got a lot of uh, a lot of revenues that are generated about 30% in their space and communication segment. So I think that's a catalyst not only for the private sector communications realm of uh, what's going on from a transition away from 5G eventually to satellite communications, but also from the standpoint of uh, tactical defense. And I think this is a company that's well positioned based on its sales and its its contract history. Uh, to perform quite well. If you actually look at the stock, it's uh, not performed well in the last year. It's down about eight or nine percent uh, on a year-to-date basis. Uh, it's catching a bit alongside the other defense names, but uh, the estimates, if you look at it from a sales standpoint, uh, are expected to be in the mid to high single digits for the name. And last year, uh, based upon the, the last four quarters of underperformance, you can actually see that earnings actually contracted by about 12 percent but they're actually resumed to uh to grow their earnings on a forward basis and i think this is an interesting name that like i said is very well positioned across multiple uh technologies and of course uh, hardware and infrastructure for the military space yeah george from a technical perspective you're right this chart doesn't look that great until yesterday yeah. when this stock shot up through the 50-day moving average, through the 200-day moving average, and now has clearly broke out and is down slightly today, but holding th those levels. George, does a stock like this, I guess th this is one of those uncomfortable conversations. Do they do better in a long, drawn-out war other than a short war? Because there's a war going on in Ukraine and Russia right now, yet over the last yeah. year, this stock has underperformed. Yeah, I think this is an interesting, it's a good question. I think at the end of the day, you have to look at the political gridlock that's going on in Washington when it comes down to all spending. I think at the end of the day, there's going to be uh, additional spending from a defense standpoint that uh, may have not been there based upon some of the constraints we've seen in the last few months with the budget. So I think that's a huge catalyst for this entire group, including Northrop. I think if you look at the forward multiple for uh, this company, it's trading above its five-year average, and that's a function of lower earnings estimates, which I think will probably be adjusted as we move forward into the fiscal year uh, budget reconciliation, which we know was passed uh, in terms of the stop gap until mid-November. We'll see if it actually holds in November if they actually move on defense spending, because I think this narrative around what's going on in Israel is going to change the dynamic for U.S. contractor defense spending, and that's really key for, for this company. So. Uh, whether it's a short-term or long-term drawn-out war, uh, either way, I think there's going to be quite a bit more spending from an events, defense standpoint, and that'll benefit this group. George, thanks for coming on, as always. Day two of covering our defense contractors. Have a great day, George.